And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to talk to you about the antioxidant lycopene. It's a phytochemical that gives watermelon, tomatoes, grapefruit, apricots, and guava their red-pink color. You probably heard that it has a special affinity for the prostate, especially when it comes to protecting the prostate from cancer. Lycopene is a member of the carotenoid family of antioxidants that also includes beta-carotene, lutein, and astaxanthin, but unlike many of its cousins, lycopene cannot be turned into vitamin A. Studies have found that men who consume the highest amounts of lycopene have a much lower risk of developing prostate cancer, which is the most common type of cancer in the U.S. Research suggests that there are several mechanisms by which lycopene protects the prostate. As a potent fat-soluble antioxidant, lycopene concentrates in the cell membranes where it protects them from oxidative damage caused by free radicals. This is important because the cell membrane protects the cell from toxins while allowing nutrients into the cell and waste products out. When the membrane is damaged, these crucial functions are inhibited and the cell can become toxic and potentially lead to cancer. Lycopene also seems to support communication between cells, and scientists believe that when communication breaks down between cells, diseases like cancer can emerge. Lycopene also dramatically slows the growth of cancer cells by inhibiting the cancer cells' ability to grow new blood vessels to feed tumors. You know this process is angiogenesis, or the creation of new blood vessels from older damaged ones. And while our body's natural angiogenesis is absolutely critical for a healthy life, Cancer cells can hijack the body's angiogenesis for their own survival. Due to lycopene's potent antioxidant qualities, it's also been shown to reduce inflammation, as well as prevent DNA damage in prostate cells also. Recent research has revealed that lycopene also positively affects hormone pathways, which influences prostate health. All prostate cells are very sensitive to the effects of the hormones testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, these are commonly known as androgens. These hormones, and DHT in particular, stimulate the growth of prostate cells. Lycopene actually helps to downregulate the effect that these hormones have on prostate cancer cells. Tomatoes are by far the best food source of lycopene, and cooking tomatoes, such as in a marinara sauce or ketchup, significantly increases the amount of lycopene that the body can absorb, as well as its overall antioxidant activity. A variety of lycopene supplements are also available, but just remember that lycopene is a fat-soluble compound, and in order to absorb the benefits, whether in food or supplement form, it's best taken or eaten with some dietary fat. That's why lycopene often comes in a soft gel as a supplement. And one of the best sources of activated lycopene that you don't need to prepare, unlike tomatoes, is watermelon. So that's just another reason to eat plenty of watermelon during the summertime. Prostate cancer is a growing area of concern in men's health, and as men age, it becomes increasingly important to consider ways to support prostate health. By regularly consuming lycopene from supplements or from foods like tomato sauce, men can provide their prostates with this extra critical layer of protection. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.